So this year, if you haven't seen it, well, NVIDIA finally sort of fixed LCD-based technology by introducing Pulsar technology. Now, this strobes the backlight to massively improve the motion clarity, one of the biggest issues with LCD-based tech. However, the problem is, as awesome as this is, is yes, it does in theory give you up to allegedly a thousand hertz of motion performance. Well, right now it's only limited to regular LCD displays and not mini LEDs. So yeah, very exciting that they're finally getting it working with G-Sync and HDR, but without a good technology behind it, well, a lot of you, you're probably wondering, well, who cares? I'm not gonna buy that. That's just for extreme TM gamers and that's not me. I just want a good display. Why are you talking about this? As well, I'm glad you brought that up because actually this technology might be making it to your favorite mini LED or who knows, maybe even OLED display soon. Now I say that because at CES in 2026, I asked a lot of people a lot of questions about Pulsar and where we can expect it to go from here. And let's start off with what you can expect to come next. Now, the first thing would likely be a 5K glossy. I don't think it'll be mini LED at first display that I believe will be coming out sometime either by the end of this year or early next year. But if that's not good enough, I mean, is it too much to ask for OLED 8K 1000 Hertz? Yes, and you're not getting that, but you might be getting actually mini LED with Pulsar coming next. Now, I did ask some questions and, you know, listen, it's not gonna be coming out this year and it might come out next year, but it sounds like more likely if it does come out next year, it might be closer to the end of next year or possibly the following year. But if you're lucky and you act real good, Santa might come early with mini LED Pulsar. Now, why is this so exciting? Well, not only would you be getting far higher brightness than current OLED displays, but you wouldn't have to worry about burn-in, which to be fair, you really don't have to worry about too much on OLED monitors at this point. Anyway, but I digress. You wouldn't have to worry about it at all. You could also potentially be getting higher resolutions. I'm hearing 5K might be coming with mini LED and Pulsar, we'll see. And the largest problem with mini LED, well, it might finally be solved and that's the motion performance because Pulsar does actually allow you to get far better motion clarity. In fact, you could in theory at 240 Hertz get better motion clarity on a 5K screen than what a 4K 240 Hertz OLED can achieve right now. In fact, it might even be better motion clarity than a OLED 480 Hertz. So if you could get a monitor that's a super high resolution, super high brightness, and super great clarity, all for a reasonable price while not having to drive 500 FPS, only having to drive maybe 144 or even 240 FPS to deliver that level of motion clarity, well, that's exactly what we're looking for. Now, what I was told was this is a very complicated problem and they can't say for sure exactly when it's gonna happen, but it sounds like they're kind of getting close on somewhat of a solution. I was told that apparently the GPU itself is working on calculating how the mini LEDs should be operating on its end and somehow sending that to the monitor before the monitor even reacts, thereby eliminating the, well, I guess latency you might expect by having to not only pulse the display, but also control the mini LED backlight. So that's why it's so complicated and why it might be taking a long time. And who knows, maybe they won't solve it, but I had multiple people tell me they are working on it and they're making good progress. Now, I have also heard they're working on some sort of solution with OLED, but at this point in time, it sounds like it's a little bit of a ways away and we don't know what that'll be. But what I will tell you is this is the future of display technology. And the reason why is who needs to be running a thousand frames per second? Listen, everybody wants a thousand Hertz motion, but actually driving that with your GPU is an insane waste of compute. There's no no reason to do it, it's not worth it because the latency difference between 240 hertz and 1000 is so low that the average gamer probably won't even notice it. Would you as an extreme TM gamer? Yeah, you might, but it's probably not gonna bring you from the bronze level four all the way up to a diamond lobby. I mean, let's be honest, you're not gonna suddenly go from zero to even five viewers if you suddenly reduce two milliseconds of latency off your display. So. 
Let's face facts, driving beyond 240 Hz is a waste of performance in terms of latency, it's only worth it for motion, so if we can solve motion without having to deliver more performance, it's exactly what we need, and it might actually be coming sooner than I thought.